What is it like? You've been involved with this for over a year? Uh, yeah. definite, uh, definitely just about a year. Just about a year. Yeah, last so what is it summer. like finally seeing it all come together? It's surreal. I felt like I, uh, I lived, quite literally lived the past year out in front of me because I remember every shoot that I did and then I remember like what was happening at the time like you know like I'm a very detail oriented person so I even remember like what did I have for breakfast that morning you know where was I just coming from like you know it was it was very interesting seeing all of that kind of come together into one fleshed out product and I mean it was well presented it was uh, it was crazy um, seeing things that I don't even remember uh, improvising here and there but of course I remember the story and seeing it coherently you know visualized and uh, just on paper uh, it was a joy it's a lot of fun working with this guy he's really uh, quick on his feet you know, he, he, uh, you know the, we had a script but it meant for the most part everything was just sort of off the top of our heads and improv and this guy was very quick but it was a lot of fun to work with him when the tension rises between our two lovely actors that's when that we need to see that in the branches. Maybe a malevolent gust of wind comes oh, about. Oh. Yes. Am I in this scene at all? Yeah, enjoy the craft while we have it, but until later, which should be about roughly an hour and a half past. Well, what am I and doing in my outfit? I'm gonna be sitting here for an hour and a half. Man. You're preparing and getting in character. Dude, you're, you're, you're getting into character. Character, I'm wearing, wearing a mask. I don't need to get into character. In uh, I definitely feel like I've grown. It was definitely like a full process that I went through. Um, you know, living the character, like, um, like Eric said, a lot of it was off the cuff. Um, you know, I mean, the more you do this kind of work, you know, the more informed you are as you create more particularly a little improvisation and it was yeah I mean I feel like I would watch it and be like those were all very interesting choices I feel like I would make different choices if I were to just get up on my feet and improvise the exact same scenario right now you know what I mean yeah now that we have this entire area cleared we need a green screen what green screen what, what green, green screen? screen what green screen yeah. homeboys dude what you have a green screen you bet I do. I would love all of your assistance on this. That Dude, is not a green screen. This man. is heavy and it's a green screen. I don't think so. Gentlemen. I think we're wasting time. There's enough technology in the equation where we could probably put a spaceship over this. I, I think we should just go and get a green, an actual green screen. Actual board. Are we, are we pinning this the wrinkles on it? Are we pinning this What was your pop-up song coming here? Coming here? Yeah. Uh, it was the sound of talking to my friend Josh. <laughs> if you want to know the honest answer, but for the press, it was, um, it was, uh, why do you want to treat me so bad by Prince? I'm a big Prince fan. Is that the artist that formerly known as Prince? It's a very simple. How do you pronounce the, the you know, the symbol? Oh, the... How do you the, pronounce the, 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 the... That's just the gentleman who comes to the like, stage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody, please put your hands together for... Ah! So, for the song, my name is Prince, and he's going, my name is Prince, and I am funky. And he's going to change it to, my name is... Prince. And mm -hmm. I am. Then the paramedics shot to me. Even though he was perfectly in good <laughs> Did anyone go and ask our building manager? Uh, I no. thought I thought you were gonna do that because it's your building. Just and I pay the, the fine. Steven, stay out of it. Oh my God, dude, you're a trust fund baby, man. Hey, never pet a sleeping tiger. Will attack. What's next for you? What's next? Uh, right now, uh, Josh, uh, who was in the film. Uh, he played Rusty. Josh and I are part of an improv duo, an experimental improv duo. We're producing our own showcase here in Chicago called Sunday Mass every Sunday night at 9 o'clock at Blokesenburg, Chicago. And we're roping in, uh, you know, some really great Chicago talent to, you know, put up their stuff. We put mostly improv, but we do, like, a lot of music. Uh, we're looking forward to doing a lot of poetry as well and just other performing mediums. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's kind of been the main baby that I focused on right now. And Beautiful, fabulous. So tell us one more time, where is it and when is it? Uh, it is called Sunday Mass. It is uh, at Blokes and Birds, Chicago on Clark and Roscoe, if you're a Chicago citizen. And it's Sundays at 9 o'clock. And it's free. It is. And it's free. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. It's a nice Sunday night. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank Any so last much. thoughts? 
weren't you just burning to tell it, tell me, tell them? Yeah, this yeah. was good. Go see it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're great. You are too. You're the best. Thanks.